So this is what you reduced yourself to. <laughs> Look at them. Two hungry, wretched, stinking love eggs. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, thinking you're from my lineage, I thought you would have some senses. But nah. Mm -hmm. They're not intact. Both are they alone? They're not alright. So you left your job that eats you 330,000 naira for this thing. Now, what do you think you're actually wearing? A Gucci? If you see a Gucci, can you attest to it? Hello? I am so disappointed at you. After wasting your time going to school, I thought you knew your royalty. Look at your hair. You look so unkept. What are you wearing? A Tommy Hill finger? This your red looks like it was red. Just washed up, girl. Yeah? Like it's so obvious. But you're picking from. Oh, I can't believe this. I'm on God, the, the ship of the head of the whole guys in this village. You chose this. Who does that? I told you hard senses. Oh my goodness, God. So this is your last bus stop. The ship of head, zero. Pocket, zero. Legged dispense, zero. Your nose, say all oh, you full face, poverty full face. Who does that? Who does that? Uh, uh, princess, princess, listen, listen. I don't want you to insult me. If Do not insult me. If you ever talk back at me again, I will make sure I take you to the theater to restructure your head at once. Enough! Have you lost your senses and don't you dare talk to me like that? Enough! You are my cousin. But I'm so disappointed in you. You're not worth the title. No. You know what? You are non-existent. So take your non-existent self into your non-existing car and drive to your non-existing direction. Oh, yes. And in case my condition pains you so much. Oh my God. Right there, you will see a transformer. Hog into it and scratch yourself for barbecue yourself for all I care. And you know what? I, I mean, talking with you guys alone, I'm feeling so hot. As tiny as your legs are, and I'm sure that is how tiny you are down there, you could not even wait for a minute. You've already downloaded your poverty inside my cousin. What is she carrying? I'm sure you're carrying a head of poverty. The great grandfather of the poverty. That's what you have in there as a child. Congratulations. Let's go, let's go. No, I could give you a lift into the boat. Are you sure you don't go? You don't even have a car. Ah! Come on! I will buy more than that. Oh, come on, enter the boots, please. Oh, my boots is big enough for your poverty stricken, wretched generation. Now, life! Whatever! Oh! My love, I feel like spraying you bundles of money for that you're display today on Princess Natasha. <laughs> no, no, she thinks she has mouth. Hmm. She thinks she has mouth. Like I should be shivering because I've met with a demigoddess, Princess Natasha. <laughs> As you mean, I told her what I wanted to tell her. She would think about her life. But wait. Jokes apart, Obi. Jokes apart. Mm. You have bad math. <laughs> you have bad math. Wait, how can you tell our own princess Natasha to go and hug a transformer? <laughs> to go and barbecue herself on a transformer? <laughs> is she a catfish? That one is small compared to what I wanted to vomit to her. I mean, how can Princess Natasha despise men so much? God forbid. Is she a lesbian? Am I her co-lesbian? No, no, nah, you are her former secretary, so you should have known more about her. I don't know anything about her life. I was only her secretary. So <laughs> you're asking me if she's a lesbian, do I know? Well, let's forget about the princess, eh? Let's <laughs> enjoy ourselves. Because, in fact, eh, I wish I had money. I would have 
celebrated what you did today. Mm. Yeah? You really gave it to her. Yes, so. <laughs> in fact, let me feed you because I'm so happy. Mm. You, in fact, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> let me feed you. No, I want to meet. <laughs> oh, meet. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Sorry, you have to add it to Bobby. What's this? You're not massaging a baby's bum. Okay. Massage! Mas you don't you understand what is a massage? I'm sorry, my princess. Easy! You're not massaging a tree. Where the hell did they get this fat moose from? Let me have the report I asked you to get for me. Where is it? Is your bag I mean is your bag going to read it? Or you're such a dummy? Please. What's that stench like your anus? Tell. Oh. Okay, so that's the report, right? That's my present. Oh, I don't really trust this report. I think I'll be taking you to my doctor. So he will run a proper test on you. Meanwhile, continue with the massage and please take it easy. I don't understand. Is it like you're scared of massaging my leg or what? Besides, why are you having a scruffy look on your bed? You look like someone who hasn't eaten three square meals all his life. Have you had food today? You know, I think my maiden should get to something that has a vitamin Q and C. Maidens! Oh, maybe food. Proper food, right? You look so dry for my liking. I don't like it. I mean, your nails so dirty. Have you? Just, you know what? Just go wash your hands. Sanitize yourself and then come back. They start protecting my husband's image in the presence of Princess Natasha today. I think she's somehow right. This marriage has been a marriage of manage since I became pregnant. The government have refused to pay teacher's salaries for past four months. If not for my parents' help, I would have been in a serious situation by now. Just look at me. I mean, take a good look at me. 100,000 Naira salary with 35,000 Naira allowance. I sacrifice all, I mean all, because of marriage. Good morning, my beautiful cousin. Good morning. Why are you so happy today? What's going on? Guess what? I can't actually guess. What is it? Come on, guess. I can't. I said yes. <laughs> you said yes to I don't understand. Oh, come on. I said yes to the man of my dream. My husband to be. <laughs> I mean, as cheap as that ring looks, it actually shows that the man you're getting married to is a broke ass nigger boob. I mean, who does that? Come on, let's come. Why would you even accept such man in the first place? That's government school teacher, a man that you even receive salary more than? How are you guys going to cope? I don't get it. That guy is broke, retarded, shrinked, shredded. He's gone out of a woman, baby. He is no longer a homo erectus. He's a fucking homo sapien. As a matter of fact, Mates like him are being left in the creekery. What the hell? I mean, who are you even thinking of the first place? I am so disappointed. Damn it. Please. Oh, come on. We will manage. Manage what? That is what they keep telling you people all the time. You keep managing. That's how they brainwash you girls. Manage. Why should I manage? Okay, tell me. When, where would the money come? You know, these men, they are broke. They're not just broke. They are lazy. They're not hardworking. They look for a hardworking woman to clinch on. And then when they get you, they'll be like, oh, maybe when I get married, she's going to come with luck and then this will start moving. Tell me, you see your luck is going to provide food for you guys? Hmm. Not about her. Mm. 
I never shock and never stole so long to marry a man who does not have money. I mean, why would I do that? You need money to train your kids. Look at you, very soon you start wearing one sided padded bra. Oh, it is true. I have deprived myself a lot. Look at me. I can't even remember when I ate pizza last since I got married. The pizza that I use my money to buy and eat whatever I like. I can't even afford it now. Kai, what kind of life is this now? What's going on? I'm fine. I'm just taking fresh air. Uh, let me judge you now. Huh. But this one, your mood is like this. What is the problem? Or uh, you need some massage? I said I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm... Ah. You know what the first day again? Okay, um, <clears throat> this is actually for a stupid job well done. I want you to take this. It's for you. But you know, if I were you, I would actually take this advice. I mean, my two cent advice. You can take the money, meet the proper pharmacist, let them check your interior intestines, and make sure you're properly well. Because, I mean, you look so dry to me. And secondly, you need to go visit the dentist and let them work on your set of teeth. They are deteriorating. It needs to be fixed, okay? And then make sure you do some shopping for yourself. Do not come again with this washed bag. And, I mean, look at your belt. You look so hungry. Then walk on your bed. Make sure you shave and have a clean bed. Do you understand me? Okay, my face. Did you just lick your mouth? Get the hell out of here. It's a stench. My lord, why are you doing this now? Why now? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? Look, I'm almost due. I've not even bought my baby things. Eh? What kind of life is this? My love, but I told you to be patient with me. Once I collect my salary, I'll give it to you. Eh? That's what you keep saying. For the past two months, that's what you keep saying. I should be patient for how long? Look at me. I can't even afford to buy my cream. I can't afford to buy my soap. Nothing. I've told the time to that number to leave this government work and look for another work. But you refuse. Is government work paying? Eh? For how long? My love, please. Calm down. Take it easy on me, please. Do you know what? Just give me from that weekend. I will do something. Hmm? I should give you for now to weekend. I, I, I will try and do something. How long have you been telling me that? Every day from now to weekend. From now to weekend. Eh? I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of this life. Oh, seriously, I don't understand what is going on. Government work, government work. For how long? Oh, please. Hi. Hi. I'm in trouble, oh. I'm in serious trouble. Hmm? My dear daughter, please, I want you to know that marriage is not always rosy. Sometimes we don't get what we want in marriage. Marriage can throw you off balance and make you feel so bad that you might even start regretting why did I even get into this? Sometimes it will make you feel like you're caged. That you'll be asking yourself, was I charmed? And some other time it will make you feel so excited that you wish it lasts forever. Whatever side of it you experience, my daughter, I want you to be patient. Okay? Be patient with your husband. I know that things are somehow difficult at the moment. 
but I also know that things will turn around for good for your husband. So my daughter, be patient, okay? Mm -hmm. And as for me, I want you to always know that I'll be here for you. Do you understand me? You can always count on me for anything. I will support you with the little I can. Oh, mom. Mama, you are always here for me. You're a wonderful mother. You are always supporting me. You are always there for me. Aww. I don't know what I would have done without you. Mm. Mama, you are one in a million. Aww. Thank you so much for being there for me. You're a godsend to my life. And I really, really appreciate everything you've been doing for me. Oh, Thank you. Oh, I promise I will never disappoint you. Oh, I can feel butterflies in my <laughs> tummy. <laughs> you see, my dear, you're my only child. You are all I have. My only hope. My backbone. If I don't support you, who will? If I don't care for you, who else would I care for? Please, I don't want you to think about anything. Don't worry yourself about anything. You see, all those that laughed at you, eh? All those that laughed and still laughing, eh? They will come back and celebrate with you. All those that mocked you, eh? Watch them. Watch out. What will surprise you? You hear me? That's my baby. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry. Very soon everything will be fine. Oh, I'm Amen. Oh. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Someone blocked my path. I don't understand. How do people even preach in this country? Who is that idiot? And I say the demented bastard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you are the demented idiot. You are the bastard, the psychopathetic idiot. Me who has the guts to use this luggage you call a car to block me? Are you crazy? Have you lost your money? Aren't you supposed to be a prince? You are a buffalo. You are a bastard. Look at you. You are going to enter the boot. You will enter the boot. You better say the grace, Abby. How about this to come to my place? Look at him wearing clothes, wearing black and black, and someone who's going to have of the country. Are you one of our president? I'm sorry. Get the hell out of my sight! Move the chair out of my way! Look at him like some. I will slap you. Are you mad? You are a sex man! Look at him so long, like, 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 like I need a new look for three. But you've lost your sex. Yes, who's there coming, please? You? What the hell are you doing in my office? Don't tell me you've been monitoring me and you've been following me about. <laughs> what is more world? I mean, so you are the one I'm to do business with. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I can't possibly entrust my properties. What billions of naira to you if you are the company's manager or whatever you are. Excuse me. Um, no, no, wait, 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 sorry, 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 Chief Obina, please. Uh, Can you please sit? I can't do business with you. Please. Listen, listen. I know this is so hard for me right now. I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't me. I was just in a very bad mood that day. And trust me, we can do this business. Can we just forget about the past and focus on the future? Please. Even the princess begs. I just say you are in the right office at the right time. Please, Chief Obina, sit. I beg you. You don't mean it, Princess. Of course I do. I saw the files myself. I saw the documents. I 
I'm still confused. You know, this guy just wants a company that can be able to manage his money. We're talking about 18 billion naira. That's a whole lot of money. What? That guy? Yes. He said he came by address. I'm still confused. I just don't get it. So what do you do now? Well, I don't know. He is not happy with our first account. Well, you just let him go like that. Of course I won't. I mean, this is a huge opportunity for my company. Imagine my father's company handling filling stations, estates. I would not let that slip through my hands. No, it's not possible. I need this money. 18 billion naira. That's a whole lot. As a matter of fact, I need the money and I also need the guy. You really need it. Well, let's just pray he calls back. We need to pray fervently. Yeah. Let's just pray he calls back. Oh, yeah. Okay. You are awake. Ah, oh, Obim, good morning. Yeah, good morning. How was your night? Fine. Obim, you're dressed to go out. Where are you going to? I got an urgent call at the legal government. So I have to be there now. An urgent call? Yeah. I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. I dropped 2,000 naira for you. When I'm coming back from the legal government, I'll branch at the market and get some of that things, eh? Okay. You're becoming romantic these days. Are you so. saying I have not been romantic or what? Sure. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Obvious. It's like they've paid you. No, no, they have not paid me. I took up a Samora classes in my school. You know, and I told you about those my students now. Mm. They are doing well. The little money they are paying me, that is what I'm managing for now. Eh? Thank but, you. But you know what? Don't worry. Very soon, everything will be all right. I know. Hmm? I know. Thank you for my cream and soap you oh, bought for me. Thank stop you now. So much. Is it because there is no money? If I have money, I will do more now. I know good things now. I know. Thank you so much. Hey, Obi, let me warm the food so that I can eat something before going out. No, 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 no. no. I'm already late for the appointment. When I'm back, I will eat. You know, go? Even if it's late, so. Can hmm? you worry too much? Stop stressing yourself. Relax. When I'm back, I'll eat. Eh? Are you sure? Don't overwork yourself. Oh. Mm. You know, go? Oh. Take care. Thank Don't you. Don't devote yourself. You are really a very funny man. Prince Desmond, come on. I have to say my mind. <laughs> of course. Of course. Thank you, good mother. Thank you. So like you said, you want our support. Yes, my prince, especially with the with the youths. Oh, you know. Hi. Hi, mother. Oh. I'm sorry, I can't. You again? Ah, uh, sorry, forgive me. She's my sister, my twin sister, actually. Yes. Really? Hi, nice meeting you again. Ah, same here. You both yeah. know each other? Um, yes, recently, but nothing, nothing more. How are you, princess? I am fine. And you? Yeah. That's nice. Mother, I actually came to tell you something, but since you're in a meeting, I'll have to go and come back later. Huh? What am I going to do now? Is he going to tell them about me? Stop being desperate, Princess Natasha. You need to calm down. What am I going to do? The young man came to the palace. 
soliciting for our support. He said he wants to become the governor of the state. Okay. Oh. oh my goodness. Do you know him before now? Uh, yes, mother. I, I mean, this young man invited me to my office with some business proposal. And? And he said he wanted some companies. I mean, a good company that could. I mean, that can manage his vast properties. Have you not been doing that? You are the general manager. You're a demigod. So why are you telling us about this? You know, I'm just going to pretend that you were not even existing or talking in the first place. Natasha, huh. you are the general manager of this company. Why are you acting so tested? Excuse me? Excuse me? Have you lost your mind? Better watch your mouth. Mother, as I was saying before those headless cockroaches dis distracted me. Mother, this man we're talking about is dwelling in billions of naira. He has a whole lot of money. All we need to do is get the millions from him. Really? Yes. He's just looking for where to invest it and that's it. Natasha, you sacked our cousins. You've never asked for mine or father's opinion, so. What's all this? Mm. Mother. Oh, boss, and you know what to do about it. So take care of it. Who is talking to this Nikon Pope? Look at him always wearing some red like some shrinish cultist. Mother, as I was saying, this guy has a whole lot of money. Trust me, all we need to do is to, you know, just be cool to him and be able to get the billions of naira that he has for his um, investment. Natasha, please don't make me to this. You don't have zero knowledge in administration and management. Really? I'm out of here. Fine! Why is everybody so angry this afternoon? I mean, did you guys eat a whole lot of garlic and ginger? Damn it! Please, don't put your frustrations on me. You mean he's a politician? Like he wants to become the governor of this state? Yes, he is. Now, how do we do it? I mean, how are we going to get him on our side? I need those signed documents on my table, you know it. I need that contract. know what to do. Okay, okay. See, we have to play the game of politics here. How do you mean? He wants our people's vote, right? Good. Now, as the princess, you have to meet the youth leader. If he doesn't give you the contract, we don't vote for him. I don't really know if I'm making sense. You know, I just want to think out loud. I understand what you're saying. You're actually making sense, but as a politician, I'm sure you know they're used to buying voters' mind. What if he buys the voters' mind? What do we do? I don't know. So it's really, we have to start here. If this is just the idea that crept up in my mind. I'll just manage it like that. God. <clears throat> uh, my princess. The total number of uh, youth um, in this community are just uh, 1,120. Wow. That's nice. Very good. Um, but we have 500 presently, both in and out. So where is this 1,120? Abroad. Abroad? Yes, my princess. How do we get um, true to the point that we have in the community, the people that are around, and we get true to them? My princess, they only listen to the youth leader who is married now. And who is the youth leader? Izuna, my princess. Izuna? Yes, my oh, princess. No. Um, my princess, is there any problem? No, not at all. I'm just wondering why he should be the youth leader. Um, actually, we've not done the election, though. We still have two months elapsed. That's the same time he's supposed to run for governorship, right? Yes, my princess. I see. Um, what about his vice? Does he have a vice? Yes, my princess. Can we get true to him? I mean, who, who is the vice? Um, <clears throat> Emilike, your cousin. Goodness, God. Can you gather them together? I wish I can, my princess, but <clears throat> I can't, my princess. I'm just only the financial secretary, and they won't listen to me. So I don't want to break the protocol. My princess, another thing. 
Not at all. Never. I will never do that. First you insulted me and now you need my help. Today you will know the power of a man in this palace. Can you just shut your mouth, you toothless bulldog? Shut the hell up, please. Man, the stench on you irritates me. Are you kidding me? This is not about me. This is about the company and you know that. Very well. Go ahead and keep doing it and please don't get me involved. You want the heart of father. You made him understand that you are the only one who can run the affairs of that company. And now you want him to think otherwise? Hell no. You are smart. You are brilliant, just like father said. Please, go ahead and do it. And don't get me involved. You don't need a man in this. Uh, mother, please. Did you mind talking to your boy? Make him understand that this is about the interest of the family. It is not about me at this point in time. Yes, mom. Mother, please don't call my Why name. Why does she call you? Don't call my name. Mom, she has to call back the secretary. And then a minute. She, 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 she sacked them from the company because of her selfish needs. Yes, she did that. Now you want me to call the youths of this kingdom and tell them what? Not to vote for Obina until he appends his signature on her proposal. Never. I'm not going to do that. Of course, you know the youth will never listen to you. They will not answer your call because they hate your fucking God. How dare you? Stop it! Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Look at this anti clockwise idiot. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. I am your other sister. I came into this world before you. Damn it! What the hell do you think you are? Natasha, you slap me. And I'll slap you again. Natasha! You sickening. Potatoes will potate. Nonsense. Fine. You can go ahead and pull down this palace. I will not summon the youth of this village. I will not, mother! I will not! Please, go treat your slap, nigga. Go fix your chin. You need to calm down. You see what we've been telling you? What goes around comes around. Mother, Mind how you treat people, you refuse. Mother, please, what are you talking about? Which people are you talking about? Are you talking about the people you have in this community? They are mad. We are talking about father's company. We need to fix it. You Why is nobody in the father's company? You should mind how you treat people. But you refused. Mother, trust me, I think everybody in this palace needs to visit some rehabilitation. Seriously. So, you now know the road that leads to my house. You have decided to come down from your high horse. Hmm. You ask me to mobilize the youth. As what? Do I look like your personal ex? After all you did to my daughter. Your own cousin. My man. Uncle. I am not your uncle. I am the Ono. Ono. Present. Please. Can you at least come to the palace and talk to my twin brother? Impossible. I, Uwezike, the Onou of Fani and the Anuko Kingdom, will then not leave my house and go to that palace until my own brother, your father, his majesty returns. I will not do that. Why are you so stubborn? You want to understand it. What is so special about you? Who gives someone with an expired red cap an Onou title? Who does that? Continue. Why are you behaving like some headless cockroach in the first place? Because I stooped so long to come to this place, to come and change words with you. Look at you. I managed to come here to change your life and here you are, sounding like some almost dead leprosy patient. Please. The whole place stinks already. I'm out of here. You think you are smarter than everyone. Why not you go and mobilize the youth by yourself in a, in a slum in village? Hey! <laughs> hey, Lamba! You don't mean it. Huh? Are you serious? You needed to see the way your father trashed her out of this house. But, he, but you know, I, that girl is so, is so shameless. Do you know that instead of her to even plead, she was busy running that her dirty stinking mouth before your father. Mama. Hmm. Hey, I trust Papa. Hmm? I know what I can do. He gave it to her. Hot. Good. Hot. Oh, Mama, wait, wait, wait. Why is she looking for the youth? Like, why is she looking for the youth of the community? I, 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 What's I, her motive? I, can join you. I don't know for her. Because she never made her intentions known to either your father or anyone. So, can I Ha. Stupid ha, girl. Mama. 
Mama, now that my husband is still the youth president of this community, uh -huh. Mama, I'm waiting for her. Hey! I'm waiting for her when she will walk in without her two left legs, Mama. Just at the entrance. Uh -huh. <laughs> Trust me. Mama, uh -huh. I will just go and look for I will garnish all the Cameroon paper that is inside the Or again, I will mix it with shit. Uh -huh. Both both concussion. Oh. I will point to her face. Oh. Mama, you know, don't, don't trust me. Don't know what I can do. I know. I know what you're capable of doing. I'm in my chair, chair. I'm waiting for her. But Biko, because of your condition, eh? <laughs> I don't want her to harm you nor my unborn grandchild. Biko. Yeah? Mama, calm down. I'm waiting. You don't understand. Hey. That, 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 that lady deserves to be treated the way she treats other people. This is like a film to me. So wicked. This is like a film to me. I would have said deal with her, but because of your condition. <laughs> this sweet. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see why I keep telling you that? Always be nice to people. Because you don't know who will help you tomorrow. Princess Natasha insulted my in-law at the palace. She even insulted you. She insulted me also. Princess uh, Natasha insulted the whole village. Bag of insults. Huh? I pray she comes to me. Hey. Let me use my mouth to directly her life for her. <laughs> I will so directly her life for her. <laughs> oh. Calm, calm down. <laughs> let her come, let her come. Not okay. just you. Everyone is waiting for her to come. Me, I'm even waiting for her. If I see her, this is my knife. I'll cut her leg into two. <laughs> just because you accepted to marry me, Can you imagine? she fired you from your place of work. Ah. Okay. <laughs> my dear, forget about that princess. She's not important. Mm -hmm. Hey, how far? How far the place you went to? Any outcome? Something good is coming. Hmm? Just calm down. Something good. Good news is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I, I hate suspense. You know? I hate suspense. Just tell me what's, what's happening. I want to know. Put the bed first. Hmm? Oh. Calm down. I'm not coming down anything. In fact, um, this thing you told me about Princess Natasha is making me to laugh. <laughs> I cannot wait to see her here. <laughs> let me, let, I will finish that girl. <laughs> we are all waiting for her. Princess of our time. No, Princess Natasha. Mm -hmm. Natasha, how far have we gone? Are we making any progress? Yes, we are. What? You have to be pragmatic, Natasha. I know you can never ever admit it when it's not going your way. Tell me, what is the latest? I mean, have the youths concurred to what you said? They will. How sure are you? Because I have everything all sorted out. When the time is right, they will accept or better still forget about it. It's that simple. Okay, um, what about your twin brother? Oh God. What is my twin brother doing in this, I mean, in this discussion? He is supposed to be in the picture, not No, Asha. he's not supposed to be in the picture. As a matter of fact, I think you should change the topic. Are you serious? 
educate. Mm -hmm. She asked you to come and see me. So the princess actually sent you to come and meet me. What? As what? Isuna. Are you not the duty leader again? I mean, she wants to help. Educate. I am highly disappointed at you. How? I should gather the youth. Mm -hmm. Go and tell the princess that no one is gathering any youth. I, Isuna, will not gather any youth. And also tell her that I still remain the youth leader of Anyoku and Ani clan. She knows. <laughs> oh, the princess sent you to me. For what, if I may ask? Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, as one of the noblemen in this kingdom, as an opinion leader as well, she believes that with your power you can mobilize the youth so she can address them. Mm. Yes, Nai. I understand that my son and you are friends. <laughs> Very good, Van and I. We are friends. Ah. Yes, Nai. <laughs> I also understand you know that my son and the princess are cousins. <laughs> I'm aware of that, Nai. Ah. 100% aware. Ah. <clears throat> yes, Nai. That means you know how the princess fired my son from her father's company without tangible reason. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm only a, a messenger. Only a messenger. Only she can go. Messenger to the princess. Uh, not to the princess. I just came to deliver a message here. Oh, please forget my manners, okay? Sorry, let me get you the corner. You sit down in this corner. No, I don't get it! I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. Thank you very much, sir. Hey! Come back! Come back! I'm going to get it. Oh! I'm going to get it. Let's 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 get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, sir. Mother, I will not work with Natasha. I will not do what she says. Do you realize I am a prince? The crown heir to the throne of this kingdom. My dear, she needs you in that company. You cannot just abandon your father's company just because you have a rigid sister. Hell no, mother. She did not get the point. I'm very sure Natasha can take care of that company, the affairs of that company, with or without me. I am done. You need to meet with that young man. I think he is the bone of contention here. If you agree to give such contracts to the company, it means the family will benefit from it. So at the end, all praise will be given to Natasha, as usual. By the way, why is she running around the kingdom? Trying to put together the youth of Ani and Ani Kingdom. Why? I have my reasons, mother, and it is personal to me. You are too stubborn. Why don't you tell your mother? You have to think, mother. Think? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me to think. I am not your staff. I am your mother. Fine. Since you insist, Chief Obina is running for governorship in the state, right? You still have the poster, huh? Good. By the time we tell the youth of our community who to vote for and who not to vote for, trust me, Chief Obina will have no other option than to dance to our tune. I don't understand. Mother, what is there for you not to understand? It's as simple as this. He would have no other option than to accept my proposal. Just a girl. I know quite some numbers of youths of this kingdom. And I have also met with some noblemen too. And I understand 
that I will get some reasonable amount of votes from the youth. That is if the royal family calls and address them. But I don't understand the clouds here. Are we in some kind of give and take? Chief Obina, we are talking about business here. Obina, I am aware that our father's company gave you a proposal. Yes, to manage my properties. Then, we'll talk to you some other time in regards to your demands. That's okay by me. Listen to me, you do not come in here and ruin things for me. I will not take that from you. What is your problem? This man is a very busy man. He's worth millions. Okay, fine. Why don't you go ahead and tell him about corporate agreement? We never had a corporate agreement. It was you who moved on your own plant. Not with me, not with mother. Maybe with father. Besides, why would Obina just wake up one morning? Chief Obina, whatever he calls himself. Wake up one morning and decide to become the governor of a state without a proper background check to know his words. Yes! Why is he even pumping on the company? Look at you. Look at you talking like some child parent photosynthesis. You know someone who sit here and think you're talking from a man who suffered his mother's spread for, for how long? You're talking like a fool! What is your problem? I really don't think this man came by your address, mother. Well, let's the investigations prove that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not moved by his political plans. I'm only bothered the hell out of this company. But like, you know what? I'm done with this. Rubbish. Mother, I don't care about whatever he has. He came to our company for business, and now what? Trust me, Mom. I have a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling. He wants votes. I totally disagree with you, Mother. They could act like every other politician. Buy votes. Not this. I don't trust that guy. Mother, this is a corporate evidence that proves that this man is a very busy man. He's worth billions of naira. And this is how he made his first million. I mean, everything this guy here is showing. And you listen to me, the next time you will ever push me to the side, I'm going to forget that you're my younger brother or my two brothers. I'll put you behind back, you midget. No, Natasha. I will not be alive and watch you go in father's business like you're running your inheritance. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you, Natasha? I've been asking you, what the hell is your problem? Why don't you want me to run my father's company? What is your problem? No, there is no difference between you and that peacock behind you. How dare you? Ask yourself. Who the hell do you think you are? I just said what I said. I said you have no right to do that. To do what? To do what? To do what? To do what? It's very obvious because you expect me to be wearing some royalty with some horse hair on my head like a public idiot. Is that what you expect me to do? Never tell you! I will be wearing that public money. You really don't want to do that. Why the hell do you get jealous of me? Why because you're jealous of me? Why the hell am I jealous of you? Look at you. Why tell me? Because you're white. Right. You know what? Let me tell you something you don't know. All the guys out there have, I mean, they have kids. They have marriage. They are married. They are married with a kids in the house. But look at you. All you want to do is talk about my father's throne. You will never be a prince or a king. You just end up here till I die. Look at you looking like a media God! Yes, hello? Hello, Princess Natasha. How are you? Oh, this is uh, Chief Obina. Yes. Yes, yes. Actually, I, I want to ask you for a date. If you don't mind. I will send you the address, okay? See you.
Mario. Princess Natasha, I have been looking at you for quite some time now. And I need nobody to tell me that you're the right woman to handle my vast empire. Yes, I have a lot of money to take care of forever. I don't understand. I thought this was supposed to be a business meeting. Well, I am a man full of surprises and a very busy man at that. I want you to marry me, my princess. <laughs> Do you realize I am a princess? I mean, you cannot marry me just like that. We have protocols, we have rules. Well, I know about the protocols, of course, I'm a chief. But you know, sometimes when you have a lot of money, protocols doesn't matter. Fine. So, what do you want me to achieve? I want you to propose to me. What? You want me to do what? I want you to go on your knees and propose to me. Like I said, I have so much money to take care of for the rest of my life. And I might not have the time to have this conversation again. Strange. This is strange. Well, not only strange when you have a lot of money. As if I'm trying to put you down, my princess. But I want you to understand that I'm a title holder, and it is normal for a woman to be close to a wealthy man like me. You need to settle down, girl. Come on, just play along. That is the game. What do you mean by play along? Are you listening to yourself talk? Girl, I am telling you that I felt like the ground should open so I can sink inside. I felt like I was... I felt like I was stripped naked in front of him. It was so sudden. It was like an impromptu meeting. It wasn't supposed to be like that. I wasn't expecting it. All I have to say, you, you you have to open your heart and give him a chance. Girl, you're getting married to a billionaire. So you have to be submissive. He is a politician, girl. A politician. Do you mind keeping quiet for some time? I would really appreciate it, you know. Since you don't have anything meaningful to say. Whatever. <sighs> there is no time. There is no time. Come on! Look, you cannot subject this one. Not this one. He is not like the others. So you have to be submissive. Do you know that millions of girls would die with this opportunity that you're here nagging about? Whatever. Come on! You call it millions of girls. I think you made a mistake. As a matter of fact, there should be millions of fishes, not me. No. Just stay focused and get the money and the contract. Just let me be. Okay. Is it possible? I'm sorry. I don't dive you. Yeah. Hey, Mom. You're welcome. How was your day? Friendly bad. You had a fight with someone? Not at all. Let's just say it goes in the wrong way. Chief Hovina, and you accepted just like that? Well, Mother, let's just see that we have a chance. Just like that? Mother, your son Costas, he told the youth not to accept any call from the real one, right? 
Maybe he, he had told them to accept it at all. Maybe then I would have had a choice, but now I had no other choice. Marriage on contract? Mother, I had no choice. Please. Are you okay? What's this? What is it now? Are you okay? Open, what is it? Open it and read it. Um, you're scaring me. What is it? Why are you giving me this? Just read it. Why are you scared? Open it. I hope all is well. Your job. I told you. He said, as soon as you put to bed, that you can take your time and take care of your baby. Then you can resume whenever you like. I told you I was going to give you a good job. Oh, I told you. Oh, Bim. Oh, you told me. I told you I was going to get you a good job. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I? <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what to say. Do you mean I will become a secretary? Not to anyone, but to the local government chairman. The chairman of our local government. Ah, this is Secretary thank General. You, thank you, thank you so much. I told you. Thank you. Just put to bed. Just put thank to bed. You. Are you okay? Huh? Are you sure you're all right? <laughs> you sure? Baby, just kiss. I'm fine. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is a big one. Oh, it's a good news. Secretary me. General. Secretary, Secretary General. General. Secretary 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 General. And she accepted. Exactly what she told me. I said it. He was just not here for votes. He already had plans to slide into this family. Are you not happy for your twin sister? Oh yes, I'm happy for her mother. She can go ahead and enjoy her life. Please excuse me, Mama. Please go and make some food for me to eat. I'm hungry. I beg your pardon. Excuse me? <laughs> it's the gods for me. Hello? I should go into the kitchen and make food for you as well as your slave. What happened to your maids? As my wife. My cook is on leave. That's why I invited you over here. So you invited me over here for you to reduce me. I mean to stoop my personality so low to the point that I have to go into the kitchen. Inhale so many gas and all the hotness just to make food for you. Have you lost it? 
Listen to me, I am a princess and where I come from, I have made it at my beck and call. You cannot reduce me to that point. I am not your sister. Neither am I from your life. And you have to remember that you are a woman and ought to be in the kitchen. I am just going to go into that kitchen to make food for you. Because it is obvious that, I mean, hunger is beginning to eat the lines of your eyes. Princess but please, next time you send me to go and make food for you, princess that food is going to choke you. Princess Natasha, you have to be calming down. <coughs> oh, gum. Uh, oh, gum. I love. In my head, I'm mine. <laughs> I love. Hey, I don't mind. Love, one, ten, ten. Yeah. People should allow me to go for this one I came. Before I'll do two, I'm going to go in one visit. Uh, mama, mama, it's not like that. Mama, it's not like that. Nah. Not like that. Uh -uh. Are you sure it's not like that? Uh, mama. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. I am done beating your baby. Come, let me massage your body now. Okay. The hot water is ready. Oh. So that I may make this love on our daughter. <laughs> okay, mama. Thank you, mama. <laughs> mama, you know what? Don't worry. I'll be going, I will join you, eh? No, 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 no. Better follow Mama now. Mm -hmm. Let Mama go and give that hot water massage. Mm -hmm. So that you always have that flat tummy, huh? Mm -hmm. you, you, you know that? So that you look, always look attractive for me. Mm -hmm. eh? My love. Go now before Mama leaves, please. Eh? My love, by the time I'm done with her, eh? You see, everything will go back to the original position. Mm -hmm. I trust you, my mm -hmm. love. I trust okay. you. If you need I the time I trust you. Go, 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 <laughs> oh God, let me go and do it, do it well for you. Mama, do it well. Do it well. Yes. Love, love for what, Tommy? She know you ignite the fire in me. I mean, you're so good. You are extremely good in bed. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Um, I'm really sorry about the way I treated you the first time. You said sorry like ten times already. You know what I'm Yes, I know, but you know, I just can't help but keep feeling bad. It's Why are you looking at me like that? What is it? Okay, so what was it like? What was what like? Come on, girl. Give a girl something to hold on to. I mean, what are friends for? Why are you too like Africa? <laughs> Why are you so inquisitive? You are always curious to know what happened to someone. I or don't to understand. Something. Wait. I better <sighs> give me something. How was it? Fine. How was it? Fine now. Just fine. Yes, he was so good in bed. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. You, you, mean, you mean you had a political sex? No, I had a scientific sex. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. How did oh you know you had a political bang? Nah, I had a scientific bang in my life. You're crazy. Just change the topic right now. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Hello, handsome. How are you? Okay, a quick one. I don't actually know where you are right now, but if you are home, can I come over? Okay, I'll be there sooner or later. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Oh, 
ini. Greetings, mother. Greetings to you. Your father called. Oh, really? Yes. So how is he? Oh, he's doing fine. He said he'll be coming back next month. That's good. So, are mother. you okay? Mother, I do not trust that man. Which man are you talking about? Chief Obina Wafo. What about him? There's something strange about that man. You know, he came soliciting for votes in our kingdom. And not long ago, he proposed to Natasha. And unlike Natasha, she accepted. I'm very sure for her own selfish interest. Now, Natasha has been all over that man. Yet, she has not come home to tell us if he accepted the proposal or not. I think she's beginning to frolic without her senses. Do not speak such about your twin sister. And please, allow her to live her life. When she was busy deserting suitors, we're all complaining. Now she has accepted one. We no longer see her. Yes. She spends more time in that man's house. Always around him. Our mother, I believe you and I know the consequences of our actions. If Natasha gets pregnant outside wedlock, the throne was going to leave our family forever. Oh, stop it. She already knows the consequences. Let's hope she does. She does. Uh, my others, mm. you are all welcome. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. My elders, our people say if we do not see Mwafo, we must see one call on our way to the market. You're right. Oh no, since our king is not well, and he's not in the country presently, we cannot fold our arms and watch our lands being taken by the people of a new world. We must do something. Yes. Hey! Huh? Make sure Okay! Stop that rubbish! Oh, is it why you dropped a senseless and lame proverb? <laughs> Look, we must wait for our king to return. You must return! I refuse. My elders will not accept it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, elders, we must treat this matter. We will not wait for the king to return. Yes. We have all, all of our heads. Elders, we have heads. Yes. The king has only one head. We will not wait for him to return. Yes. Never. Yes. We will start now to do something. Yes. yes. Um, my people, no. uh, no. uh, please, let's take it easy. There is no need fighting ourselves. We all know how delicate this matter is. Um, I have a good news for all of us. <laughs> mm, yes. Yeah, yes, okay. Tell us the good news. That is the main reason why I called this meeting. Yes! <sighs> Our king, his majesty, will be returning next month. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought he would stay up to one year. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was what they told him from the beginning. Not He's returning very soon. Not <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Is it true that the king is coming back next week? Yes. Is it the queen that told you that? No. Prince Desmond did. Okay. And I. What about the land dispute? Well, until the king is back. Mother, this is my life we're talking about. You have no right to question me or tell me what to do with it. Natasha, you dare not say such. You are a princess. You do not have to sleep with any man until your bride price is paid. Mother, I know that. I hope you know better. Exactly what your brother said. And I'm saying, sir. Mother, please. Chief Opener is a gentleman. He knows who I am. And he's going to do the right thing at the right time. Why is everyone making a problem out of nothing? Please. Seriously speaking, since I left this village, I haven't achieved anything. Your son here cannot even boast of 15 naira. Nothing with me. I don't have a dime. Everything I try to lay my hands upon in the city becomes unsuccessful. All my mates there in the city are succeeding. All their businesses they are doing. They are all flourishing. But anything I try to put my hand, anything I venture in, anything I say, let me try this business, it will just collapse. Papa, me, I am tired though. I don't know if I am cursed or have a problem. I am tired. Don't worry yourself, my son. Eh? You've tried your best as a man. It will soon be okay, alright? It will soon be fine. Don't bother yourself. I'm tired. It's not easy. My hey. mates are, are enjoying themselves. I cannot even boast of 1,000 naira to feed. Three square me. In fact, two square me was a problem. Nothing was working out at all. Hey, Menike. As you can see, I'm on my way to Edgar's house. I'll soon be back. Hmm? I'll be back sooner or later. Okay? Good evening. I'm What would I go inside and make myself comfortable with? Eh? Since I came back, Papa, have you asked me if I'm hungry? I've not eaten anything and you're going to see someone else. What kind of life is this? Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, Maya. Yeah, Maya. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this food is sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Very sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great one. So, um, how is life in the future? Life. Come on. <clears throat> but let me drink water for this question. You know, I used to hear people say, once you go to the city, you will make money. Hmm? But my own story was different. I went to the city and my life became miserable. No money, no food, no shelter. Even one square meal a day was very difficult for me. I was suffering, I was wallowing in poverty there all my years in the city. Can you imagine that I came back to this village with just 500 naira? 500 naira. Even when I came back, the bike man that took me from the junction to my house took 250 from me. And now what is remaining with me is just 70 naira. 70 naira that I was using bike that and granola and drink. Life in the city is very fast. Let me not just say. Emily, get my brother. Hmm? Once again, you are welcome back home. Mm. The most important thing is that you came back alive. Exactly. Because when there is life, there is hope. Hmm? Yes, so. Mm. Once there is life, there is hope. At least I'm alive. Yes, so. My hope didn't die in the city. I'm here. My brother, city life, eh? Very difficult. Especially when you go to that place called Lagos. Don't near that place, so. If you don't have money. Ha! I suffered. Fat. Wow. Uh-huh. I don't know. I heard that you're giving birth to a bouncing baby boy. Hmm? Where is he? My dear, God has answered my prayer. Mm. He gave us a bouncing baby boy. Come see the way you're chuku. I like no it. Chuku. That's his name. Yes. Hey, very wonderful. Evil blood. Yes, sir. Evil blood. blood. <laughs> Where is he now? Mm, let me bless him. Oh. I'm now that boy is very stubborn. Yeah. Very, very stubborn. It's like he's crying inside. I his voice. Hey, bring him outside now. Okay. He will disturb you. Ah. He will disturb you. Oh, yeah. Like fire, like sir. That you just need. <laughs> you need more food. Let me give you more food. Why? I need like a pot. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. very hungry. Okay. So, let me get more food. more food now. Yeah? Be cool, be cool. Give it to our four. Be cool. Mm? So, my brother. Mm? You're welcome. Uh, go and remove. Let's so talk. Happy birthday. You're back home. Mm -hmm. At least, if you don't make it in the city, come back to your village. How's your party? It's a welcome, Google. See, you need to understand me here. I am not saying that we cannot do this business some other time. All I'm saying is that I want my fiance here to handle my properties. Just like that. So what are you going to do? I have to think. See, my friend, you don't have to kill yourself, huh? <laughs> don't go and have IBPO. Whosoever that says that you've not tried in this community, let him or her go to the city and return you with money. Yeah? I'll put that in. Stop thinking. Hey, what is it, Bata? It's not easy, oh. Educate. Hey, Menike. Thank you so much for being a good friend. <laughs> Let me go to my father's house. Hmm? Okay. I will see you later. Okay? All right, no problem. Mm. Take care of yourself, eh? No, you too. <laughs> Remember your name, oh? Emily, can you please help me? 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 Can you please help me
Kai, bis bald, alle auf. Hallo. state of Chopadi if you don't help me out with this money. See, once I become the governor of the state, I would pay you times two of whatever money you give me now. My friends have deserted me. The bank has given me so much loan, they don't want to give me any more. Everybody's waiting for me to become the governor so that I can start paying them back. See, my love, I am certain to become the next governor of the state. Please. Baby, you don't understand me. I'm not saying I can't help you if I was in a situation where I can, but from your political ambition, I know the amount of money you're talking about will be very huge. See, the company does not have it. Just borrow. Borrow. Okay? See, when, once I have the money, I will get back all the documents and I will pay every dime the company has spent on me. Trust me. I'll see what I can do. Help me. You're my last hope. Please. See, honey. In fact, I will pay you three billion naira once I become the next governor. Trust me. I promise you, it's a deal. Fine, I'll, I'll think about it. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so hard. I mean, why must it be you? He should go and look for one of his rich friends and demand such amounts of money from them. This is not funny. Yes, I get where you're coming from, but the truth is I'm falling for this guy. Natasha. What? Where will you get such amount of money from? Are you out of your mind? I am not out of my mind. Confident, this is my husband to be that we're talking about. Babe, this is not the plan. I know it is not the plan, it was not the initial plan and all that, but I just found myself falling deeply in love with this guy and there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, he's got only two options to continue with his political ambition. It is either he pays the money or forget about the documents. Oh. I think you need to discuss this with your father, His Majesty. Oh, please. My father shouldn't be involved in this. Me dream. So what are you going to do? The company. After a long tussle regarding the land disputes in our kingdom, today I want to give judgment. Having looked into the matter, I have uh, researched also and widely consulted many people regarding the six lands that has been given problem in our kingdom. I hereby declare that the lands belongs to the Anubuki clan. Come on, this is not a good judgment. The judgment does not all go well. In as much as I'm from a new kingdom, I'm not a part to this. Leave my palace. I'm finished. Get up. Get up. May the gods vindicate the truth. It's a good one. 
and I don't want to see you anywhere close to my house. Your Highness! Yes. You better go to the kingdom of Timabu. Your Highness! You better! Okay. Ah! Oh! Look at them. You better! You better ask for good. Yes! Excellent judgment! Gods of our land. Anyuku has taken our properties. The king said the land which have been a case for so many years belongs to them, the people of Anyuku. If he spoke with justice, let his majesty continue. He said, but he, if he twisted the truth in order to favor his clan, may his throne leave his family. He said, may there be shame, shame in the royal house. He said, O oh, gods of our lands, speak for the people of Ani. Speak for us. He said, let us go. Your Majesty. Yes. I don't think you made the right judgment. It's obvious, even though KK, your brother, did not support you. This is strange. Now tell me, are you the king? No. Are you the custodian of law in this kingdom? No, I am not, but... Then be silent. You do not speak of what you don't know. My judgment is final. Okay, and the rest are angry because Natasha sent their children out of the company. Haven't I tried for them? Haven't I? And who gave him the powers to counter my judgment? Who? It's, it's all right, my king. Nonsense. You're here. Uh, but, but what is it now? I've been calling you and you're not responding. Is there a problem? My son, I see a great danger about to befall this kingdom. A danger? May the gods forbid. Ah. What is that Mary talking about? The gods will forbid if men will speak and rise to it. Papa, you are speaking in parables. What is it? What is going on? Your uncle can guard that. Past and fair judgment regarding the land dispute we have with the people of Ani. Why is he doing that? I mean, everybody knows that the land belongs to the people of Ani. Oh, you know? Of course I know. I know. Do you know that he favored the people of Ani? Instead of giving back the land to people of Ani that owns the land. 
Hey. Papa, I don't know what is wrong with the king. He has a problem. He's very greedy. He's wicked. I don't know why he's like this. A callous king. I don't know. His problem is taking people's lands and properties to himself. Why? Without even giving to the, uh, 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 his people, his citizens. Who does that? Fine. Those, do you know that the company I was working for, those lands that are close to that place, he took everything to himself. Whereas the lands are not his own. Why is your brother so wicked and greedy at the same time? Why? How did my brother become this greedy? It's a big question. Albert. Oh, what Oh, what Oh, Hey, I'm <laughs> 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 I go, 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 Brother had to do something about this. Mm. We can't be fear of death and refuse to fall in line of battle. Mm? I think he's making a very big mistake. Mm. Mazio okay, okay. mm? you have a key point. Yes, um, I will speak with him. Mm. Yes, I will let him know that. That judgment is not supposed to stand. Yes, despite he is our king. Mm -hmm. But if he keep deaf, yes. That's okay, okay. I'll wash my hand off. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We we'll lose our brother now. We still have to be talking to him until he gets into his head. Anyway, like I said, um, I will speak with him. But I will advise we allow the tension to die first. Don't you think so? I think you're right. Yes. You're right. Yes. <clears throat> Izuna, we the youths of Aniklan are displeased with the judgment of the king regarding to the land dispute. Even some elders of Anuku are standing firm that that land belongs to us. So, <clears throat> we want you as the youth leader to convey this bitter message to the king to call for the second hearing of that dispute with immediate effect. Ushika, I've heard you. Honestly, when I heard that the king favored an Yuko clan, I was shocked myself. I never believed that the king would favor a Nuku clan concerning <clears throat> that land, honestly. Uh, you see, it is totally unfathomable. It is very bad. Even my father is not in support of that. My father and I kicked against that totally. We don't like that rubbish. But you see, my friends, I think there is something fishy about that land. What could that be? Mildred, you're my sister's very close friend, correct? 
very close. I, I want to know if you you think my sister is doing the right thing. I mean, do you think she's well upstairs? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Like, I'm lost here. All right. Since you lost, I will help find you. You of all people know that my sister claims to be highly intellectual and vast in all aspects of life, including business. Yes. So as a close friend, I want you to rate her. Sincerely? Sincerely, please. Well, 8 over 10. 8 over 10? Indeed. So tell me, who's this Obina guy? Who's this guy that's making her walk with her head so high? Do you know him very well? My prince. I mean, he is your in-law. And you should be the one to... I'm not to... disputing that fact. I just want to know if you know him so well. Well, I know that he is my friend's fiance and a prospective in-law to you. That's all I know. Please, drink up. And thank you very much for all your money. No. This is serious, man. So, what are you going to do about it now? I am planning to meet with the king. Mm. To discuss about it or where? Yes, of course. Now, do you know what I heard? I heard that there is stones and crude oil in that land. That is why the king decided to favor the Anyoko people. Woman, hmm? speak what you know. Keep on keep on speak what I know. Are you saying that the market people that are talking about it, they don't know what they're saying? Eh? Are you saying they don't know what they're saying? After all, it's someone that is speculating the news. I did not discuss this with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Period. Now nah, you know. You know, I want us to discuss this thing very well because I need to be sure. Oh no. If no, then you might be loud. I will have thrown you out of this palace. Your Majesty. How dare you stand to counter my judgment regarding the land at Oji? How dare you? You and I know the truth. That land does not belong to us. It belongs to people of Ani. The next time you sit before me to talk back of me, I will chop off your head. Then let me die for the truth I know of. You are supposed to stand for the truth and fairness for the people of this kingdom. Even our own father defended the truth. Our family is known for openness and truth. Your Highness. Not even the gods will tell me to leave that land for the commoners. This is for you. Wow, I love you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> I actually yeah. did this for you because I always want the best for you. I always want you to live up to your dreams. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. You're welcome. I love you. Thank you so much again. Um, I'll make you my queen forever, okay? Come on. <laughs> Let me take you to a real paradise. What are you talking about? Going to I miss it. No, no, no. Come I on. am tired. No, 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 no. <laughs> what does he mean? This man returned from London and become sick in the head. No, 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 no. Oh no, I cannot support such info. He cannot give such judgment. It's not it's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. No, I won't no, take it. I can't take it. Hey. Okay, no. 
What's the song you sing? Here, my words, my dear. These are coming and very Look at the way he went past such judgment. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? We don't know. And Cloud, that land belongs to them. Mm. Because you're from Aniabi? No, 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 no. It's obvious. People are talking about my it. My friend, you're talking rubbish. Huh? Let me tell you. That land belongs to us, the Anuku clan. Our forefathers single-handedly gave that land to us. Really? Oh, you know, we just decided to give you guys the land. And now you want to take it back. It's not a problem, Abi. Eh? My dear, let me tell you. You need to go and search properly. Do your research very well. That land belongs to us. In fact, I don't want to argue this thing with you. Mm. Please. Better. I want to go home. Better. Better. Oh. Imagine. Look at her. It belongs to your, 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 your land. It belongs to your land. Biggie, biggie, mwa, biggie, biggie, mwa, biggie, biggie, mwa, na 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 Sorry. Nonsense. Nain, please calm down. Calm down. You're just returning from, from the palace. It can never happen. Ah. Oh, nah, go. It cannot happen. Ah. It cannot happen. What in my life? Hmm? What is the problem now? Hey! Eh? Mm -hmm. Hey! I don't know. Let him speak. I want to go to the palace. King Abbott. King Abbott threatened to throw me, his own beloved, out of the palace. Can you imagine that? Papa, why? Why? He gave the land of Aniklan to us. Ooh. Wait. You mean the land at Oji? Mom! Mom! We, as his brothers, expected him to give these people back their land. Yeah, that's what you expected. Eh? That land does not belong to Anuku clan. I cannot support evil. Even the others of Anuku clan were rejoicing. For what? Hi! I knew that land. That land belongs to Anuku clan. Yes. Then why is he giving this to us? Hmm. Papa, Papa, that, that, that man is becoming so mean like his daughter. Yes! Arual. What is wrong with him? Why is he behaving like that? This is serious. That is wickedness in the bloodline. Like father, like daughter. Arwala! See, let me tell you. He must revise that judgment. Otherwise, it will be a total fall of his head. Mm. Yes! Mm. He has allowed materialism to lose his head. That is another abomination for a king as that. Hmm. Our tradition frowns at an unjust king. Mm -hmm. I know why I'm saying it. I have said my own. Papa, you don't understand. That land has some mineral resources. And the king's intention is to claim everything to himself. Papa, it will never happen. But my husband is from Ani. And for this time around, I'm going to stand by him and I'll back him up. Mm -hmm. why, why, is he, why is he behaving like that? Mm -hmm. Setie, mm -hmm. you smell war. Hey. But it will not happen. Mm -hmm. The gods of our land will not allow it to happen. Hey. Hey. Wicked people. Who forbids? Yes, mother. I'm having a slight fever and headache. Are you sure? Because <laughs> this is not slight headache. Thing. I hope you know what you're doing. Mother, I'm, I don't understand. Are you saying that I am pregnant for a man who has not even dropped a penny on my head? I did not say so. I am a princess. I know what I am doing, mother. I know you are a princess. I also know you know the customs and traditions of this land. Mother, I do. 
She has been on air for the past few days now. She's going through a lot to make sure the company survives this hard time. She has sacrificed a lot. And all she could get is pregnancy insinuation here and there. Woman, watch your mouth. My daughter is a princess and she's grounded with the customs and traditions of our people. She knows the consequences of getting unwanted pregnancy. This throne, the crown, will be gone. Woman, watch your mouth and allow my daughter to run the company in peace. I am sorry. You better be. Please, can I say something about this land? No. You are a woman of an clan, and you are rejoicing because your people are fighting against me. This is the most surprising news I've ever had in my whole life. Come to think of it, how can the princess be pregnant? Huh. Let us not complete so fast. Because to me, it's impossible for the princess to get pregnant. And you know she hates men. And when not allow anyone to come close to her, not talk of getting pregnant. I wish that is possible. I mean, if the princess is truly pregnant, I would be happy. Because I even will reduce once and for all. Would oh, you what? I've said my mind. What is going on in this kingdom? I mean, what is going on? What is wrong with our king? Why is he acting like a demigod? Huh? 
He is tempting the wrath of the gods. Can you imagine that? First of all, he chased my father, the owner of this kingdom, out of the palace. And now he's doing the same to my husband. Huh? You can. You can. Where are you going to? Stay and take care of our baby. I'm coming. Where are you going to? Come back. What's wrong? What, where is he going to? What's going on here? Baby! No, 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 this. This, this can be. Mildred, I want to see you in my office right now. Just leave whatever you're doing and come now. I mean now. Thank you. Mildred. Yes. Did you say you were on your floor? Yes. Why did you ask? And I normally see my own after just. I'm supposed to see this week, right? Yes. I mean, I, I normally see mine on the fourth, and yours is like around um, six, seven. Oh my God. Wait. Have you not seen your period? I haven't. As a matter of fact, it came out last month. It didn't even come out at all. This month, it just ran for two days, and that's it. It's supposed to be for four days. Natasha. What? Am I pregnant? What? Am I pregnant? Oh my god. You have to go and see him. Oh my god. You have to see him fast so that he will pay your dowry before they notice. Oh my god. Natasha, this is a taboo. Why didn't you use protection? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. You just scared. What do I do? Can't be pregnant. Your Majesty. A wise man listens to the counsel of his kinsmen, but a fool refuses to give ear to wisdom. As, um, as you can see, I am a wise and a wealthy king. Now your parable is not meant for me. You are suddenly becoming arrogant to the gods and to the people of this great kingdom. Earthworms are eating your flesh, King Ebert. But you think it is a tickle. You have failed! But you think you have not. It is a matter of time. It shall surface. I have not offended the gods. And none of my family have so tell me. What do I own this uninformed visit? Your great grandfather gave the land to his younger brother, Aninta. Because Aninta saved his soul, saved his life in the battlefield. The reason you are living today and Britain 
is Anenta. Had he been Anenta, her third his elder brother, Anyoko, he would have allowed the poisonous spear to pierce deeply into his soul. He suffered decades upon decades, but his reward for all his effort is that land which you decreed as Anyoko land. King Ebert, the soul of your ancestors are not pleased with you. Reverse your judgment now. Reverse your judgment now. There's a more. The land belongs to a new clan. Gift can be taken back. As a more, that is my decree. It's unreversible. A call of death, I see. A call of death, I see, King Ebert. From when a dog wants to die, it does not perceive it as green. Things are happening, but you're too blind. You are too blind to see, King Gebat. A word is enough for a king. here because of what happened today and I don't talk about it and that's my problem with you you never give me attention because I am not Natasha well I get it but further I advise you tune it down a bit because ever since you got back from the UK you have drastically changed don't want me to ask the guards to throw you into the palace cell. Get out this minute. Your Majesty. That land is full with milk and honey. Anyoko must be blinded not to see it all. That land belongs to us. And nothing, nothing will make me change my mind. Not at all. Nothing will make me to change my mind. Sit down. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I can see this is your first time in my house. Yes. It's a okay. fine house. Uh, well, thank you. As Governor Asper, this is one of my guest houses. And uh, you can make yourself comfortable. What can I offer you, please? Um, nothing, sir. Actually, I came to give this file to you. Oh. Yeah, I understand that uh, she cannot set her eyes on me right now until I do the right things. Yes, sir. It's the culture. And you have to do something very fast. If not, sir, the royal family will be dethroned if people find out. Yeah, I understand. I know. I know it's the culture. I mean, she's pregnant for me and she's not allowed to set her eyes on me until I come and pay her bread price. Yes, sir. I know that and uh, I'm working seriously to see that I come to do that. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. So that's very good. That's good. So when are you coming? Actually, uh, me and my family were thinking about coming this weekend, you know, to meet with the king one on one. Wow. Do the right thing. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure Natasha can't wait, sir. Of course, of course. 
please let me get you something. I can see you at and stuff, okay? And uh, the sun is very hot outside. Please, okay. excuse me. Uh, would you like uh, wine, juice? Anything, sir. All right, I think uh, I know what to do. Thank you so much. You're That's welcome. kind of you. Thank you. The juice is nice. Thank you. So tell me, tell me something about you. <laughs> well, I'm just me. Uh, anyway, sir, I wanted to thank you so much for making my friend happy. Oh. <laughs> you see, Princess Natasha is my, is my kind of woman. I really love her. And I can't wait to have her in my house to spend wow. the rest of my life with him. I'm sure she can't wait to. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? Uh, Mother, you need to talk to father. Talk to him to reverse his judgment. I mean, the history is fact. So factual that even a toddler knows about it. Mother, I think this is a test. They are trying to test father to see what he will say. And obviously, father is a big flop. Mind your language. Well, I'm sorry, mother, but things will get out of hand if father continues to prove resistance. There will be chaos between us and the people of Annie. Of course, you know my two uncles are already on their side. Yes. So if father decides to go to war, it's going to be a lose for us. Well, you know how rigid and pragmatic your father is. But he's your husband and you can talk to him. Why don't you talk to him, mother? Are you aware that your sister flew to Abuja for the past two days now? Mother, can we focus on what is at hand and not talk about Natasha now? I am more concerned about the words of Ezemo. Yes. It was eating on your father's head. And he thinks he's being tickled. Now, your father is so blind to see what is about to happen to him. Those words portrays evil. 
and to avert this evil, Father has to reverse his judgment and allow the people of Ani to take over that land in peace. Son, I just wish you will understand. Mother, you can melt that man's heart with your kind words. He is your husband. I've done that, even before now. You know what? Your father is a very stubborn king when it comes to his judgment. Yes, so that is what is happening. You are not in the company anymore. I heard that you are now working in a little girl. Hmm. Babe, you really enjoy it. Yes, so as you can see, mm -hmm. this is a small world indeed. Yeah. My dear sister, when one door closes, yes. another door opens. Exactly. Uh -huh. So tell me, what were you saying about Princess Natasha? Hmm. Mm. Did I travel all the way from our village to come and tell you lies? I say Natasha is now madly in love. Mm. The crazy most annoying princess who preaching the word of God to us to be high on lady without her mom. Huh. My dear, I thank God because she did not spoil the marriage. Hmm. My dear, she did not though. Yeah. I stood my ground. Yes! Although it wasn't easy. Yes! Yeah, but I have to stand my ground. And today, I am eating the fruit of my labor. Wow. Yeah. So look at me. I'm working in a better company uh -oh. right now. Doing very well than the company I was before. Yes. Princess Natasha's father's company. Uh -uh. Is that not a breaking news? Wow. Breaking yes, news. Not a... small. <laughs> we are seeing things in that company, babe. We are seeing things. Are you serious? She's not even in the town. And what do you mean? I'm suspecting something. Okay, let's see. It's like Princess Natasha is pregnant. Oh yes, she is pregnant. No way, huh? <laughs> Princess Natasha. Uh huh. The so-called feminist. Yes, so. No, 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 not Princess Natasha. Her bed. Is she not a woman? She was fooling horse then. She has fallen. Her ties are crushing her now. Huh? I pity the innocent workers like this. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know what it means for the princess of this kingdom to be pregnant out of wedlock? Huh? We'll show a cash fire. Let the cash fire now. Ha, huh, please. I want to carry your baby. Please. <laughs> the baby is sleeping. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't okay. worry. Some other time you'll carry. Really? Yes. Thank you. Hey! The princess is pregnant. <laughs> eh? Mood, are you sure of what you're saying? She's pregnant. Hmm. Is she not aware of the customs and tradition of this land? My dear, it shocked me too. I'm in shock. I'm in shock of it. Like I was surprised. A whole feminist princess. Hmm. The princess of this land, pregnant. Hey. Well, I'm, um, she deserves it. About it and let's talk of something else because the world has ears. Is there a problem? <laughs> you see, she deserves it. If she's pregnant, she deserves it. After all, she sacked you because of your husband. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. And she sacked me because of my girlfriend, Amaka. You see? That Kama now is working. Kama is a bitch. Yes, so. Uh -huh. Kama is a bitch. Nice one. Ah. Nice one. Hey, and what about the king? Has he called the elders? The king? Yes. Hey! Otherwise, are you sounding as if you don't know who the king is? That man is a tyrant. A king that cannot even listen to Ezemo. He doesn't respect Ezemo at all. Not to talk about the elders of this village. No, no. Please, let's uh, forget about the king and any other thing. That is not why I'm here. I'm here for something more important. I, I hope all is well. The world's has is. Mother, you're my cousin. Okay. You're my favorite cousin for that matter. You know, I want to please beg you for something more important. I am suffering. In fact, I've been suffering ever since I lose my job. 
You know my plight in this village. You know my situation. You know my condition. I am jobless. I don't have anything. The last time I came here, I told you how much I came back to the village with just 500 naira. So please, help me. Eh? Help me look for a job. Let me not die in this village. Biko, eh? in that your work, your local government's work, help me look for one and secure it for me. I promise I will work very fine and make money. I don't want to come here every day and beg you for money. Eh? Please, talk to your husband for me. You guys can do something. Eh? Help I me. I will die. You. Look, listen, it's okay. You don't have to think about that, okay? Please, though, I don't want to lose you. You will not die. I promise you one thing that I will make sure that you get a job in local government. Okay? Yes. Because I know you're hardworking. Yes. I know what you can do. You're not yes. a lazy man. To me. Me? Ah! Nothing. Ah! God, I'm, I'm naked. I am naked. My, my clothes are on the floor. What did you do to me? It's nothing to you. You fell asleep, so I brought you up here and you started touching me. Well, <laughs> me? Me touched you? Yes. You're a big liar. That's a big fat lie. How could I talk? Midra, what do you want to hear from me? Huh? Oh God, oh God. You, you, you dropped me. You dropped me. That's the only explanation. <laughs> Come on, don't be a kid, okay? Come on, Midra. Don't be a kid. Okay, fine. I dropped you. But is that a story you're going to tell to Princess Natasha? <laughs> She's not going to believe you. Okay? So just lay back. If she calls you, don't pick up. Just sleep. I should relax. I should relax. God, you are a monster. You are a disgusting monster. I can't, I can't even believe this. God. Oh my God. You need to take me home right now. Right now! Baby, monsters don't drive my kind of cars. Pick up your call, Mitred. Pick up! Why is she not picking her calls? It's driving me nuts. Pick up, pick up. Oh, goodness God. Why is she not picking her calls? Huh? Thank you. 
I'm not tired yet. Oh. I saw it here, this spot. Uh, as I was about going to the bedroom to take my bed, I, I saw the uh, car here. I don't know what it means. In this house? Uh, just here, this spot you're standing on. I'm serious. Hey. Yes. You know what? You keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. You keep it a secret, okay? Do you understand? And right now, I don't want you to go out again. Huh? You remain here and see if you have this again. This is a message. I don't want to assume. Okay? But you said I should not go out. Uh, and I should keep it as a secret. Yes, yes, yes. But please, I want to know. I am curious. What is the meaning of this? Eh? What is it doing in our house? I mean, again, the meaning will be very clear. But not now. Uh, yeah. Papa, you're scaring me. Through I just came out from the house. I didn't know I did not bring it from inside. I saw it here. I picked it and you came now. Just tell me. I, my hands are clean now. Hey, eh? hey. I don't know any, I don't want to have any okay. issue with the ghost or any hey, problem. Man, okay. I know what I'm saying. Don't be scared, okay? Eh? Hey? Don't be scared. Hey! Hey! Come on, Come here, Come here, Come here, Come on, Come here, 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 Come but no problem, huh? All the same, we have a message for your father. Okay. <clears throat> Please tell him to reverse that judgment before the next came out a day. Else, there will be trouble in that royal house. Look at our faces; we are not smiling. Please, do tell him that. Yes, I will tell my father that. My I do not need anyone to support me. 
the land is ours. Now, this woman, let me be. I will be forced to send you back to your family. Father! Father! You have to do something about this land dispute and you have to do it now. Is there any problem? Oh yes, mother, there is a problem. On my way back, some youths from any clan intercepted me. They were looking fearless. They were looking mad and angry. They were looking like they were ready to die for this cause. They told me to tell my father that he should reverse his judgment before the next AK market day. Else, this royal house will be on fire. Father, you need to have seen these boys. They were looking so angry. You need to do something about this, Father. Is that all? What? Did that make sense here? Yes, you are not. What? You and your mother leave my presence. I saw those bandits. I will deal with their leader. Father, they are not bandits, but youths from any clan. Think about this. Your Majesty. What is going on here? Madam, it's of your best interest that you do not obstruct our duties here as police officers. Young man, move in. No, my husband is not a criminal. Madam, if you want to know what your husband has done, why don't you join us in the police station after that? Take it easy, take it easy. Move in. Come. Why are you taking my husband? Oh. Oh, you are Chief Obed Nawaha, right? Yes, Your Highness. The one that wants to marry my daughter. Yes, Your Highness, you're correct. I see. Well, I've, I've heard a lot about you. You are contesting for governorship election. <laughs> yes. That's good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a lot of money. Because that's a high position. Exactly. <laughs> Not just money. I have a, I have a very deep uh, vision for the state. Your Highness, I have been meaning to come and pay you a homage uh, since you returned from London. But you know, uh, political meetings here and there, campaigns and all that has taken my time. Oh, I understand. Uh, I understand. <laughs> thank you. Once again, you're welcome. Just be assured of my community votes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Highness. And that would mean a lot to me. <laughs> thank you. Then, Albert, what has my son-in-law did to you that he had to send security to nab him like a criminal? Your Highness, who is this? Oh no. Have you lost it? Release that boy with immediate effect. I can see the days of your reign is coming to an end. You've stepped beyond your bounds. Guards! Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Please. Please. Leave now. If I feed your flesh, please, your dogs. Please, Your Majesty, please. please. Release him now. I won't repeat myself again. Okay, fine. I will. Your Highness, is that your move? Yes, please. Oh, no, Your Highness. He's too small for my liking. Imagine the way he was ranting here. Before a king. He has been like a sense of my boy. I'm sorry about I'm sorry about that, my your highness. Uh, <clears throat> like I said. Hi babe. Yes, I am sorry. Yes, I know, I know. 
I am so sorry, okay? I was in a meeting when you called, and uh, you know how the political meeting goes. You know, we always have meetings. In fact, I'm so stressed off right now. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I got the fire from Midred. You know, I didn't get the time to talk to her. I was in a board meeting when she came, so I just discharged her and got the fires. Are you coming to the house later? Oh, you're in the airport. All right, all right, all right. I can't wait to see you. Love you. Yeah. My Ada and my brother. It's of necessity that when we get to the police station, you find out what he has done. Hey, please, you can just tell us now. This is our know who you're talking about. Sir. But tell us what happened, please. Let's just settle things and make a block, alright? Please. The police is your friend. If you want to join us, you can join us to the station. When we get there, you find out what he has done. I'll follow them. I'll follow them. You better follow them. Know what happened? You can't just get arrested or know like that. Hey. Huh? Hello. 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 No. 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 Are you going? Hello. Father, Father, why are you like this? Why are you dehumanizing your own subject? Why, Father, why? Father, I am talking to you. What in the name of the God is wrong with you? Your days are numbered. You touch the rod of the gods with your bare hands. The police will soon come for you if you don't leave this palace this moment. Leave my palace! You go all back. You are just a walking corpse. What? Father, you are so impossible. Gosh! How did it go? Prince Desmond bailed out of us. <sighs> His father, the king, has beaten more than he can chew. I know. His days are numbered on the throne. For laying his hand on my father, who is the owner of this kingdom, he has beaten more than he can chew. He has crossed the limits. <sighs> so tell me, did he lay hands on you? No. So what was your offense? That I rebelled against the king. That I was trying to kidnap the prince. Okay. All sort of cock stories. Can you imagine? I want nonsense. <sighs> Flimsy excuses. Izuna. It's okay. I have suffered. I have suffered in this village. Baby, it's okay. Hmm? Hmm? My love, calm down. Hmm? Look at how I was humiliated by the king. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Let me just um, draw water for you to freshen up and eat, okay? Hmm? <gasps> <gasps> that man, his days are long. But then, what are you? Are you serious? Papa, I am serious, though. In fact, I am 100% serious. Eh? Let me tell you what happened. King Albert has arrested our youth leader, Izuna. Yes. Izuna has been arrested by our king. The king said that uh, 
Izuna, they are they are just you know instigating violence in the kingdom, and they are also planning to kidnap the king and Prince Desmond. Imagine what your brother is doing. Hey, imagine. I'm bad. Our brother is not like this before now. I don't know this thing. What came over our brother? Eyes of the gold. Greetings. Mazio you okay, okay. You're welcome. Your son, Ebenike, has been chosen to be the king of this kingdom. The gods have rejected King Ebert and his household. Prepare him. Prepare him. I knew it. I knew it. That cowry. Huh? The royal cowry. I knew it. Yeah, Nico. <laughs> yeah, I made it happen. Yeah, you really made it happen. <laughs> you are the man. I told you. The game changer. He is you. a game changer. You know, I told you he was going to win, but you didn't listen. Now he won. Yes. <laughs> so your yes. five million is Jabba. Uh, you know that's his game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. So I, I put it to him. But you won. Congratulations. He's a game changer. <laughs> he won. Bro. Congratulations, bro. Five million. Five million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. <laughs> you want? Oh, get an app, yo. Get it, man. Get it, man. Get it, man. Get it, Get it, man. 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 Get Hey, babe! What's going on here? <laughs> How did you get to know with each other? Alright, guys. Enough. Enough. <laughs> Alright, let him talk. <laughs> Princess Natasha, it's a game over. Alright? It was all a game, and I'm done playing the game. It's unfortunate that you're pregnant. What are you talking about? I, I don't understand. What's the game? Uh, if you won a game, huh? <laughs> my probability. Well, let me uh, explain to you. These two guys here are my close friends from way back, okay? And we played this game on your head. That whoever deflates your pride and ego will go home with five million naira cash. That's that you won it. <laughs> And I happen to be the best player. Yes. You know, actually, he, he believed you're not going to win, but now you won. That's a summary here. <laughs> yes. Are you trying to say that this is a sick job? Wait. You're not real. <laughs> my darling Princess Natasha, I am not real, my dear. And I'm never going to be real. Everything about me is fake. I am never a politician, neither do I own any property. I have nothing. If you look at me from head to toe, it's all fake. It's just my strategy to get people like you. Yeah. So wake up from your sleep and uh, the Maluma will be able to go. You know, Natasha, you were actually thinking you were going to own all the property. Now, property go buy a <laughs> Property, now you go buy a uh, you know, Listen, there are people you don't uh, subdue or subject to, all right? And these people are him, me, all of us. You can't do that to us, okay? Rubbish. And I am pregnant with you. You are nothing but a slimy bastard. Now I need all the documents to my properties. I want to have my documents right now. It's too Else! Late. It's too late. Don't be a fool, Princess Natasha. Not a joke. Do not be a fool. You are nothing but a useless miscreant. That is what you are. You are a dumb head. You know, I told you. I told you you will fail. I told you you will regret ever meeting someone like me. Now listen, let me tell you. This guy here is my friend. I will play the game on your head. And he won. <laughs> and that's the game. 
you are a loser. I will advise you to get your dirty ox out of this house. Fool. <laughs> well, so it all colors. Uh, that is part of the game. <laughs> Trust, how manage? How did you do this? Like you brought down her ego and was not gonna hide me. Just like that, Yakata. <laughs> Guys, you've seen the picture. I know they make mouths. Obviously. I am master in this game. See? Marathon sex back to back. This princess, some people forget this from where she's from. As I they give her, she did zam, 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 zam. She did respond. 247 Makino. Oh, uh, really? You've lost that. Beautiful. The prince. <laughs> forget this babe. You she, bad. She, she bad, but she could the form like nothing. Okay. My dear princess, I want you to also know that that bastard in your womb is also a king. Well, princess, to your best interest, I want you to get this into your score, your empty score. Do not have in the back of your mind to return to this house with this bastard in your womb. Because this house is also a game. Do you understand? I have nothing. It's all a game. Well, I, guys, I think we should leave this house for her to stay since she wants to be here. I promise you. She won't report in jail. She won't report in hell. How could you? You know what, Princess Natasha? You do not threaten me to jail. People want us to jail. Let me have my story, Pete. Let me have my documents. Give me my. Are, are you crazy? <laughs> 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 Please, 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 You insulted the honorable and refused to hear to the voice of the gods. Your daughter has broken the sacred law of the royal house as well. As a more, you know I fear no one. What you are talking is our nonsense. So what do you want? <laughs> King Abbas! You are leaving the palace today, dead or alive. <laughs> no way. That charm with you will not save you this time because your daughter has neutralized it by having a child in her womb. Natasha. Yes. An illegitimate child. I am sorry. Sorry, Father. I I don't know what came, I don't know what got over me. What have you done? You have dropped doom to the palace. And your father has passed a wrong judgment to the clan of Anne. He refused to reverse his judgment. He assaulted the enemy, thinking he has a fetish protection. Igwe Albert, you have only today to evacuate the palace. You face the wrath of the gods. We shall see them. to the grave with the cops. You have been warned! But you refuse to listen. So help your father. So help your father. 
damn weak. No, Father. You refuse to listen to the voice of the gods. Now look at you. Natasha. Natasha! Natasha, you have killed your father. I saw this coming, but you deceived us all. You have killed my husband. I said, please do something. I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. You discredited the secret law of the palace. <laughs> I'm sorry. The new king has a match, but not from this family. What? Forgive her. You know your father is dead. If you kill her, what will happen to me? Mother! Please! She killed my father! <laughs> oh, it might be Natasha! I thought you were hard to get. But no! You ugly! You fucking man! Full scanner! And got pregnant for him! Sorry. Natasha! Hand over the father! Stop the house! Because that was all I want! That's all that looks to me right now! I will never forgive you. I swear! I will never forgive you! I will never forgive you! I will never forgive you! This is this with um, the person. I will tell my chief of Obina. They, they scammed me. They, they, they duped me. They took everything away from me. I gave them everything. What? I gave them all the documents to all the eh? documents of all the properties. What? I didn't... What? 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 I knew all this while that you've been fooled. I told you. But you wouldn't listen. Because you thought you were smarter than me. We lost the truth. Because father suddenly became a tyrant to his subject. We lost everything. We are no longer royals. But I can no longer become king in my own kingdom. What I've always dreamt of. What I've always prepared myself for. All thanks to you and Father. Thank you. It's okay, son. I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry. Guys, I told you I am master in this game. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, the almighty princess could bled. Yes, I told you I would do it. And I did it. You are the game master. Cheers to that. Cheers, bro. <laughs> I am happy now. Cheers. Cheers bro. <laughs> Police? Officers. This are the criminals. I have always known you a thief. Yes, you, Obina. 
But I let everything play out because I had my eyes on you. You thought you were smart? To try to steal my company from me? The police snapped you today because they have been watching your every move with my sister. And at the break of it, here you are. It's so painful and disheartening that my sister could open her legs for you to impregnate her. That, that is a shame. I will leave it for the rest of my life. But I promise you, she will never see the break of dawn again. Please, my prince. I am sorry. We can work something out. Please. Look at you. Prince Ogona! The thing that you were my friend. You connived with this miscreant to do this to me and my family? Because you wanted to get back at my sister. Fine. You enjoyed us in hell. Because I will fight with the last drop of my blood to ensure that you all spend the rest of your lives in jail. No, my prince, please. I assure you. Please. We can settle this. My prince. Let's, Let's work out something. We have friends. You can do this to me. You, you document. You, I believe this is mine. Officers, my ah, hey. get the smell up here. Yeah. I am a crown prince. I am a crown prince. Move. Come down. You're certain who has lost everything like that. Officer, come down. Move. 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 Don't need to be perfect All along I've learned to be myself Don't need to impress anyone Don't need to be perfect Cause when I look at me The only thing I see Is greatness Is greatness when the world gives you a thousand reasons to stay down Don't you ever give up 